<sighs> Do you feel a little weird to watch your husband be so happy to see his ex get her karma? Child, listen. Thank you, thank you. I enjoy you because you're you're in my age you're in my age group. You brought something new. Y'all, you know, I had to I had to put something in there. I had to throw something in from the millennials. Like, you know, I think some people are out of touch with the way things are and you know i know change is hard you know change is hard for a lot of people especially when you're so used to certain things like i'm i i have to say that i don't like change either sometimes like i don't i don't it, it can make it can it can make you angry sometimes don't don't it you know you're used to a routine and all that and then somebody comes along and they're doing things different and then you get anxiety like i get it it happens <laughs> like i i i, I go through that I like the idea that you don't let loose fake divas trying to make money change you. Yeah, um, money is the root of all evil. I mean, I, I definitely learned that. And I just, you know, I, whatever money I earn, I just like to use it for good. And I like to do good because I know that people are watching and, and I want to represent my way, you know, represent myself in the best way, you know. This season was my first time filming. I know what to look for. I didn't know what to expect. You know, but now I know. I know it's a learning, it's a learning um, curve for sure. You are authentic and genuine. I think you blew them away because you are now a, the fan favorite. Oh, um, I don't know if I'm the fan. Everybody has their fans like Simone likes to say that everybody has their fan base. You know, everybody has their fan base and they have things to film. But the, the, are the things that they're filming, are they authentic? I'm talking about just other people. Are they showing the real? Are they just showing us what they want to see, you know? Are they showing us everyday issues? Some of us are. Some of us aren't. Bless, best place to meet a guy, go. Okay. So I would say the best place to meet a guy is maybe a charity event. You know, especially at a charity event. Like, y'all looking for men that are doing well for themselves, that, um, you know, have a purpose, moral compass. Go to a charity event. Go to, you know, these golf tournaments. Like, um, Gregory goes to a lot of those. And I, I've been. And they're fun. And it's a great, it's, it's, it's really nice to, you know, just fellowship and, you know, meet new people and support a cause. Like, we that it's great you know most time you know and you just want me me in there that's gonna bring willing to spend money for a good cause and that's what you want i wouldn't talk to the ones that's in the club not really i mean i don't think i don't feel like that's the best place to meet them but like go to some charity events go to like what they got um i went to a black bar association one year um in new york and we had a great time great time just kicking it with, with, with meeting new people um one of my high school friends was there um just just go you know get out um what else in place hmm. i used to go out to happy hour all the time you know whenever people getting off work they're ready to eat um they're ready to have something to drink online especially being in dc there's a lot of people that come in and out from out of town so it's good to like just meet people that way. And it's not always because they're just in D.C. or they live in D.C. You know, you got people from out of town. You know, me and Gregory, we met online, but we have a we had a long distance relationship for a good two years. And, you know, and we saw each other a lot. Like when we got really serious, we saw each other like at least every weekend. I mean, it was nice. OK. About something she said previous season. I recently saw Dr. Jackie's apology. Yes. And I believe Jackie is sincere. I do. You know, um, I'm just praying for the best out of that situation. That's all. <sighs> do you feel a little weird to watch your husband be so happy to see his ex get her karma? Child, listen, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's karma. That's, I don't know nothing about that. That's, I leave that over there. So I do. I just leave it over there. The thing is, I'm not even watching. I'm not even watching. That's that's for that's for them to figure out. 
Okay, does he hang with the husbands on the show? He does. He still hangs out with Curtis and um, Cecil. My husband's older and all his friends are married. Yeah, most of his friends are in a relationship or married. Is there any particular one of the ladies on the show that you're the closest to or not? Um, I would say Alicia. I do talk to Toya. I do talk to Simone. Um, what else? Phaedra, we talk too. We talk too. She'll call me. I talk to Phaedra. We do talk. Um, but I would probably, I probably talk to Alicia the most because we're newbies, you know. So, you know, everybody's kind of an OG, and they all kind of have this like, you know, just years of experience. So you can connect with the newbies. Is being on TV tiring? It can be. Um, it, you know, when I first saw myself on TV, I was like, oh, that, you know, okay, we about to air. You know, I saw the little clip and the the commercial the sneak peek and the trailer i saw all of that and i was like oh okay um i thought they could have showed more but now that they're the show has aired i feel like they're showing too much <laughs> not feel like they're showing too much so you know tv is all it's it's okay when do y'all go film the reunion i believe january january 24th i think I gotta double check, but yeah. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. January. Did you talk to Dr. Jackie about these past days? I haven't talked to Jackie. I have not spoke with Jackie. But I'm praying for Jackie. I am. Have you spoken to Heavenly? No, I haven't spoken to her. She's blocked on my phone, actually. I know. Uh, she's blocked. Can't you can call, but you ain't gonna get you ain't gonna get nothing. Well, hopefully she keeps running her mouth, and I think that if she continues to do that, eventually she will run into some issues. I, I she may be smart in some aspects, but a little naive and silly in others. I love how you're still the same person as when you began on the first episode. Doesn't seem like. Reality TV has changed you at all. I mean, I, I can only revert back to me. Like, I always. I can't be nobody else. I can't be nothing I'm not. Like, I'm just going to be me. Like, that's that's all I can be. God put me on this earth for whatever mission. He put me in the position I'm in for whatever reason. But I'm just going to just listen. I'm just going to listen and let him guide me. Let him lead me. Let him use me. Tisha's not taking her foot off Heavenly's neck. No, I'm not. I'm not. We're going we gonna to chop it off. I love the name Sweet Tea. Thank you. Y'all, the name Sweet Tea was actually my Instagram name. It was my Instagram name. It was. And um, it's been ever since I've had an Instagram. So I just never changed it. And But people, people do call me Sweet. And then I, I used to try to spell my name for people because they would pronounce my name wrong and I'm like it's literally like T La T S H A L A T E A S H A They keep playing with T T she is going to turn into twisted T <laughs> I think I'm already twisted T I'm a Gemini but I think that I'm already twisted like I'm a Gemini so it's like what personality do you want from me it depends on how you come at me. So what? Which? What do you want? What? Which one? Cause I got, I can, I can, I got them all in my head. I mean, I really do have multi personalities. Heavenly and Carlos claim to love you on the show, but also be shading you. They get on my nerves. Yeah, I just ignore them. I just ignore them. Just. Just the haters. It's just the haters. Don't have nothing else to talk about. You know, how people just. Want to be in young folks' business and got shit else going on with their lives. That's what it is. You just take it like that. I don't, I don't know why people act. I can only be act like I'm 32. If people near damn near 60 and acting like they 10, I mean, I just, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's just, 
And I feel, I kind of feel bad because you got to think about it like this. Like, our young girls don't have anything to look up to. I mean, they don't have anything to look up to when you when you think about it. You know, how people present themselves in the media. Um, as they grow, I mean, they're looking at, like, their mom, their grandparents. And all they are is showing their ass all the time and being immature. And it's just like, what is this promoting what is this doing for our kids you know that's not being a good example but like can we blame the kids now because of look at the behaviors they have they watch can we blame them for being the way they are just become you come come from ratchet doesn't mean that you have to stay in ratchet and be ratchet you don't have to to be that all the time but sometimes you have to be, sometimes you have to speak their language in order for them to get it. Because they don't hear you when you're being the bigger person, you're being the nice girl. They don't hear you. They don't. And sometimes they want to be looked at, looked as like the victim. I was watching something the other day and... I'm sorry, but you never can be the victim when you're doing the nasty things. How can anybody, how can you be a victim? Like, nobody's going to see that. Like, I'm an empath. I'm an empath. I, I, I have, I have empathy for other people. Yeah, sometimes you do have to master energy. You got to speak ignorant. For, you got to speak their language. And I do know a little bit about ignorant. Are you truly friends with any of the girls? Yes, I am. But sometimes the friendship's a little rocky. Let's just say that. It's a growing relationship. Um, I'm friends with um, Alicia, Toya, Simone, Vedra. Are you truly friends with any of the girls? I'm cordial with some of them. I'm cordial. But I am friends with a few of them, yes. Don't let everything get to you. You have such a sweet soul. And you can tell, don't let them get you out of who God called you to be. I know. I am God's child. It's like they don't know. Do, do, y'all, do y'all know my God don't play about me? <laughs> do y'all not know it? He don't play about me. It's going to get you every time. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I am a witness to that. I am God's child. He don't get you together every time when it comes down to me. Keep on keeping on. Every one of them is also God's child. They supposed to be. But then when you don't act like God's child, then what? Then what? But I'm going to get off here, you guys. I think I've talked a lot. You guys have a great, 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 great great holiday and um, a great week as well. Bye guys.